Good? Okay, timer good? Okay, help me welcome from Fresno State, Nomad Recruiting. Nomad staff or by users of the Nomad recruiting. 
Message board will allow nomads to interact. This part of the website is exclusive to nomads and they can talk about the industry, upcoming events, and lodging for special gig events. The employer portal of phase one will be simple. Employers can post full-time, part-time, and gig work, and then they can also post information about their restaurant. Phase one is gonna cost us approximately $18,800. The cost of the website is $5,000, and our monthly maintenance costs are gonna be about $130 to $400. We'd like to take part in the National Restaurant Expo in Vegas, which will expose us to over 10,000 hospitality service professionals. The cost of the booth and for promotional materials of that is gonna equal $9,000. The labor, which includes verifying references, will be done by our founding team, that's me and Kat Cole. Creating and reposting engaging content will initially be done by myself and Kat Cole, and eventually we can look to our nomadic network for more content. Introductory costs will be $40 a month and an annual fee of $400. Commissions of $2.50 for referring our nomads to websites where they can earn certifications, and we can also host ads such as Shoes for Crews, Aflac, and products on Amazon that appeal to those in the industry. All revenue will be invested into phase two and building the Nomad Network. Using a business-to-business -business model, we have shown this to employers and we have 17 businesses who are ready to sign up. We will also use a business-to-consumer model to recruit for our Nomad Network. We are ready to introduce phase two in year three. Phase two is gonna offer a chat platform that allows employers and nomads to interact on video and between the chat, and also allow users to sync their calendar with their personal apps. We also hope to expand the nomad network to include independent contractors, and we would like to host the entire paperwork process. Winning this competition will allow us to finish phase one. If we do not win, initial funding will be raised by Kat and myself. We are both hospitality service professionals and have been in the industry for over 10 years. We're no strangers to budgeting our money by the time that we work, and we can come up with the expected $5,000 to launch the website by adding an extra shift for the next six months to our workload. This website is more than just a hiring solution. It is a much needed bridge that will connect hospitality professionals with work, whether that be full-time, part-time, or a couple extra shifts to help fund a project or a road trip. Both Kat and I have seen how COVID-19 has impacted the hiring pool and how the lack of staffing can affect the overall business and morale and lack of employees. In the hospitality industry, our time is money and efficiency is gonna be the key to making more of both. This service is something that will help evolve the hiring process and give you the right employees right when you need them. Thank you. So having uh, yeah, spent a bunch of time in the last few years post COVID in resort areas, mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is a huge problem kind of hiring and uh you know turnover and you know now if i go to a you know a restaurant you're checking the last week's reviews to see what the service is like not yeah. over six months or a year so you know i think the problem is a lot bigger than um you know kind of your numbers here you know make it look very small so you know how do you really kind of i assume there's other people that are kind of working on this problem there's other solutions probably around scheduling and hiring so you know how do you kind of convince us that you can you can build a large business here and how do you you know kind of think a lot bigger than you know kind of what you have in these slides well scheduling and hiring is usually handled by other hr apps and we're going to be more of a connection between the hospitality industry professionals and between employers so as i said you want somebody working for you that wants to be there and those people are going to be passionate about their job and those are the people that are really going to shape your experience and so having Nomad Recruiting being able to connect you with those employees is going to give you a better job pool. You're also not competing with other industries and not knowing if that person is just looking to get a job or if they're actually professionals and trying to work within the service industry. One thing we're gonna target is by working with agencies that look to connect people with work. So one of the companies that we have signed on is an agency that actually helps disadvantaged youth find work and what better place to start out than the service industry. Because we offer full-time and part-time, but we also offer gig work. And you see a lot of gig work with independent contractors and with apps like Uber or Uber Eats, but there's not a lot of options with that, with being able to just pick up a shift. If everybody calls out sick, what are you gonna do? You want a reliable pool of people that you can contact to cover those shifts. And that's what Nomad Recruiting is gonna give you the option to do. So I really like a lot of how do you frame this, by the way? How do you, though, make sure that these people 
really are the professionals they are saying they are, and they deliver the service the way they claim they deliver it. Is there any kind of equivalent of the Yelp for individuals like that could say, hey, go onto my page and give me good reviews, so they're motivated to you know, increase the credibility, increase the trust in that particular individual, so all these employers will see them as, as the one to bet on. You know, how do you increase that trust? A lot of that is going to be done by the previous employment. And so no bad recruiting, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that previous employment. We really wanna eliminate the option of taking the ability to leave negative reviews. And so we wanna show the experience. And I believe the work experience, and you're gonna see that through the years spent working somewhere, is gonna be able to be used as proof of having experience in that industry. But does that mean there's a, a time intensive process that you have to have people that really do filter each one of these? So individuals. with HR law, you're allowed to call and ask if a specific person worked there during a certain time, and that's it. So I could call, that's something that can be done initially by the staff as we're growing. We have a grow as you go kind of business model, and as we can outsource that and start to hire people. But the process of calling and verifying it really is not as tedious as it sounds. We can't ask, you know, how they were or anything. You're not allowed to do that. So uh, just to say yes. Yeah, to I mean, I like the, you know, kind of what Steve's talking about there. You have your kind of personal card, right? And there's yeah. a lot of, uh, um, you know, bartenders, servers going to some ways, going from, you know, restaurant to restaurant, bar to bar. So if you kind of can keep those reviews, because I've gone to restaurants mm -hmm. before where they, you know, server hand you a card and say, write a nice comment on, uh, uh, you know, TripAdvisor or Yelp or something with my name. But here you actually have yeah. that and you have people verifying it. So over time you build something where, um, you know, that reputation can lead to better jobs and more money for the top ranked uh, and also bartenders and servers. also people really motivated to do great right. jobs yeah. Yeah. to get those reviews up. Yeah. So that, that's the only thing I'm missing. It's okay. just like, how do I really know these are the great people? I don't know that. Like, yeah. I, I think you need that extra piece in the resume. For right all. now, they're all just trying to have bodies that they can show up, right? Yeah. So this is kind of taking it three levels up, but yeah. 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 One thing that I want to mention is that during my time at the Restaurant Expo, I spoke with restaurant consultants and I asked them, you know, what website to use to hire? And they said, I would rather go on Facebook and find a group of servers and hire from them than I would use a app to find a job. And it's because you know they're in the industry and you know they're gonna be built a little bit differently. And so we said that and that's kind of what motivated us to, to go off of that. And so the first impressions are big with the introduction video of 20 seconds or with the profile picture. First impressions are really big and you kind of do have to go with your gut in the service industry because it's not necessarily about the skills, but your ability to learn, your ability to adapt, and your ability to tough it out. And that's that's kind of, do our best to kind of figure that out when you meet somebody. Yeah, so your value prop's great to take the risk out, to keep working on more of that. Okay. One more question, go ahead, one more question. <laughs> yes. Um, this seems like a technical business and I'm not seeing technical skills. How do you address that? We hired a web device, we hired a web designer and he is going to use a lot of services that the for the chat message board and everything for phase one it's gonna be affordable because a lot of those are I guess not proprietary. As we grow, our maintenance fees will be higher and our uh, cost for proprietary software will be higher. So this is kind of just a starting point to get people signed on, get several business who have a need for a product and we're gonna kind of build from there. Thank you.